next topic of tonight. This this is a bit bizarre. I, I thought I had to double check that this was a real thing. Princess Eugenie issues heartbreaking plea after ugly photos release, and I said, "What are you talking about, Eugenie? What what which?" ugly photos and this has to do with her Instagram account that you know that she has an actual Instagram account that allegedly according to herself she manages her and uh, uh, on her own and however the princess admitted that running her account is the most stressful thing in the world because of her spelling but also because people tend to make comments like oh you're much better looking in real life you know, that that kind of passive-aggressive comments, right? Like It's like she uploads these uh, pictures to her Instagram and she's got passive-aggressive attacks. So, oh, you look so much better in real life. Like that that photo is, uh, you, you're, you don't look like that good, right? You know, that kind of things that people can 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 say at times. I guess that this, uh, this kind of uh, remarks can come a lot from women not judging at all. It's something that just happens. Oh, well, Princess Eugenie commented, I want people to know me because I think there has been so much misinformation. Yes, you think? You, you know, your, your friends, your, your cousin Harry and Meghan, you know, but they are the king and the queen of misinformation, by the way. So there's my advice to Princess Eugenie. I don't know if she watches my show. She should. I, I always have good advice. For anybody in the royal family or ex-royals as well, I, I don't discriminate at all but from any house, any royal house in the world. I think that uh, you have to realize that people on Instagram, both the people who share content and the people who absorb and consume that content, are used to filters, heavy filters, you know, soft skin, you know, beautify many things that are completely unrealistic. And that is the norm. That is the norm. Instagram is not the, is not the place for candid pictures, unfiltered pictures. Everybody filters pictures there. So if you, st if you publish an unfiltered picture on Instagram, it's going to stick like a sore thumb, regardless of who that is. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you are, I don't know, let's uh, let's uh, name someone. I don't know who, who can I name uh, a lady that was um, uh, stunning. Maybe any, if you have any example in the comments, it doesn't matter who you are. If, uh, if you upload photos to Instagram and they ha are not, they don't have Photoshop, they are not retouched, they don't have filters, they're going to stick out like, what? what is this? What is this? girl doing? What is this girl doing? That is the problem. And she also complains that she, at some point, she said, uh, you're, uh, like, and uh, she wanted to say you are, and she wrote Y-O-U-R, like your, like yours, okay? A common mistake sometimes could be even uh, the auto, uh, auto corrector, something that can happen to anybody. And, you know, she was Oh my God, a stress for all the corrections and people saying that is not the way it is written. That is not the way you write what you what you mean. Oh my, I'm going to tell you something about this as well. Typos, those tiny mistakes makes us human. You, you should not be afraid of them. I, I know some, some writers on the internet that 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 use typos on purpose so the text is not that tidy that that perfect that uh, it, this this is a thing right this is something that I even even done myself a, a couple times and um, when I don't want to sound so perfect so squeaky clean because that will always sound artificial well like everything on Instagram that is quite artificial that is something that she should uh, get used to. Maybe one typo, what's the matter? If she uh, missed one comma or one uh, letter, it doesn't matter. That is nice. That is a nice way to be approachable, relatable. Because if not, you sound like an agency writing the posts on your behalf. Agencies never do this. No, they always do everything perfect. And that's why they sound so artificial. 
that is the thing. That that's that is a, a suggestion for anybody who wants to publish or wants to uh, share content online. You have to have the the sweet spot of being authentic, and sometimes too perfect a thing kills that authenticity. You remember my first videos? I wanted to everything be so perfect, and they at many times were so. Uh, we're not as organic as these lives. I can make mistakes. I can do things uh, wrong, but at least I'm much more relatable, especially because I'm interacting with you. That is, that is the best thing about this live streams, by the way. Oh, we, we have less than five minutes. Oh so my God, we have to keep moving. And by the way, I just asked, I just asked uh, Mid Journey, my artificial intelligence uh, uh, tool, to just Tell me, uh, draw me Princess Eugenie. I, I did not say anything else. You know that these prompts or the orders that you give this uh, artificial intelligence things can be quite uh, lengthy, uh, complicated. No, I just said Princess Eugenie to see what happened. And this is what Mid Journey, my tool, uh, gave away. I don't know what you think. That that's I think this is the reason why so many of you think that artificial intelligence images are creepy. Because yes, it it this looks uh, the the uncanny valley that they say that this looks human but doesn't look human at the same time, and some of you have pointed out that the one on the right, nice dress by the way, but she looks like a blend between Eugenie and Beatrice, more like, uh, more like just Eugenie. So this can be a bit creepy in many ways. But I just was testing how does this artificial intelligence images look at a thing. Eugenie looks like, and maybe Eugenie could use this for her Instagram account. Why not? Yeah, it's, it's, oh my God, so many of you. Yes, I know that we still cannot fully trust Eugenie for all that she has done. We still cannot fully trust her. But well, a couple of things I wanted to point out this wonderful picture of uh, Princess Anne, the Princess Royal. At, and I have to, I, I want to make sure that I want to, I'm going to pronounce this word. This word, I, I just um, I just commented it on my own live stream. I'm going to highlight the comment. Greenwich. Greenwich. Is, is that the correct pronunciation? Greenwich. Please tell me because that sounds so counterintuitive to me. This this word right here, Greenwich, or at least that's what my my pronunciation uh, uh, tools tell me that how that how it's pronounced. She was at Greenwich, and she was looking uh, just awesome. Yes, I used to pronounce it Greenwich, which is of course wrong. Now I know it. Thank you. And we also have pictures of Sophie, the Duchess of Edinburgh. And Princess Royal as well. At this at the reception at Buckingham Palace earlier this week. Thank you, Jen Carson Taylor, for sharing these amazing pictures. And something that I want to point out. I want to point out this. Uh, this. I will be talking about more the other royal houses as well. Maybe uh, maybe we can bring these live streams a bit longer at some point. We have a bit more than one minute, but I just wanted to talk about uh, physiognomy as well. You know that I've said that I don't want to talk about people's uh, uh, physical appearance, but if, if I talk about physical appearance, I'm going to do it in a positive way as much as I can. For example, I wanted to point out on my uh, Battle Language Guy account, Princess Leonor from Spain is a great example of what a powerful nose looks like straight with a thick nasal bridge right, and broad domes. This nose shape is a, uh, signals a strong character and determination. I want to talk more about this in both channels. Why not? It, this is some of the, of the content that I will be featuring more often here. All right, Mela Preden, you don't understand in her book is the real one and only the truth of the truth. Only she knows. Yeah, I agree. That's where she, we are going to uh, have the real deal. LMVG, always fun, but you get tired of news about the Montecito denizens. That's when I'm going to add a bit more 
uh, variety here. I agree with you. Maybe it could self-publish on Amazon, but it does involve a little work, so maybe not. I agree with you, RW. She is uh, not keen on that working. My Roger Rogies. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the Royal Rogue. And until we meet on another video or another live, remember the two most important words, much love and bliss. Take care because I love every single one of you. Bye-bye.